You are tuned into the leading internet radio station in the Mother City. Save the date, Sunday, the 28th of July. There's more to live hosts. It's Trade Expo at the Athlone Civic Center in Yay Espanoy. Doors open 10 a.m. Entry is for neat. Bring your yalla family. That's it for all Food, fun and treasure hunts, cakes, toys, entertainment and noch meer. Cash prizes up for grabs. Talent search, kids trivia, stand-up comedians. Die dang gaan ruk. Hou die socials dop, Radio Eerste River en TMTL 369. FOMO, don't be caught out. Welcome to the leading internet radio station in the Mother City. There are many ways to stream our shows. Visit us on our Facebook page, live at Radio East River. Also, visit us on our website, www.radioeastriver.co.za or download the Radio East River app, available and supported on any and all smart devices. Radio East River, die dung rug Radio East River. Radio Yisrova. 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 For a city that I'm a wate, give me a girl who let it hide. Who puts the one put them away? When I hide, for a city that I'm a wate, for a city that I'm a wate, get back in the pit door, good guy, are a man tapping out with some moves to go put city in the end that the Ruka Monati, Bina will be there at Yo, <laughs> <laughs> 
Market offers the best quality, locally sourced, and 100% halal meats. Visit our store at Sanbury Square Mall. Contact us at 021-565-0499 TPM for your halal meats. Wow, it's busy. Yes, it's busy. Our station, our talent, our people. Dat right baby, die dank nog jou te die bij radio, eerste revue, oze stasie, oze talent. And you people that tuned in man, you are our people baby. I want to shout out some guys before we start, you know, as you guys can see on in the description. Um, pardon for that, for that young typo there, you know. Um, we will be on the phone with the one and only, believe with the lyricist. In a minute, in a minute, guys. But before I get to that, I uh, wanna shout out some people, you know. Uh, Bevan Jacobs, I see you, King, is also tuned in. And Queen Bilo McQueen has tuned in as well. She's saying, oh, she wants, she would like to hear the man. But without further ado, guys, uh, let's, let, let, let's call the man up and let, let's hear what he has to say. Here we go. Yes, our station, our talent, our people. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Can you hear me, brother? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Hey, 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 hey. Nah, that's good to hear. That's good to hear, my brother. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. You're yeah. feeling good. Uh, Queen Below Mukwena is tuned in, man. She's saying, she's saying hearts here in the comment section. She, she's just, you know, she's just happy to be here, man. Vital. King. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm happy to to be here with you again. Yes, sir. Uh, King, before we start, now before we start, what would you do today if you got a million bucks today? What would you do? That's the first thing <laughs> you would do. I'm gonna uh, pay for my music. Like, I need to be like one of the most like well-known rappers. Like, I uh, I'm going to pay for everything that I need musically. So yeah, yeah, powerful. 
powerful. Also, uh, believe the lyricist. What does your dream house look like, bra? <laughs> Have you seen like Casper's house? Yeah, I've seen Casper's house. Yeah. Yeah, I need something like that. Like, sure. I need to have like something big for myself and my kids. Yeah, my wife as well. Yeah. <laughs> Powerful, my guy. Before we start with the interview, now uh, I just wanted to know, as a rapper, as an artist yourself, what is your favorite genre of music to listen to? Uh, I'm listening to Afro pop inspired by Java, yeah, but yeah. I do hip hop as an artist. Yeah, is, is, is that is that the artist that you're listening to currently? It's Java. Yeah. Okay. I I remember Henry also used to love Java a lot, me bro. So I, I think Java is speaking to you guys directly that side, no? <laughs> yeah, like I understand everything that he says. Ah, so that's, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel you, King. I feel you. Um, believe it or not, sis, my bro, tell me a bit, a, a bit more about you. Tell me where you're from and how you got into this music thing, man. How did you start doing this music thing? Let us know. <laughs> yeah, okay. My name is Deliver Dolores, is known as Buaman Salen. I'm from Nyagalong, Ellen Ridge, Free State. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started doing music at the age of 10 years. Yeah. I was singing in church, school. Uh, I need to be one of the most well known artists in South Africa because, like, I think my music deserves that, like. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, so, definitely. Uh, That's we, my dream. I hear you, King. We have Mr. Scott Lee Siskubi tuned in, also saying, Bua Mansa. Bua with fire emojis there. People are hyping <laughs> up. Yeah, Bua Mansa is my name right now. The, the name that I'm using for my album. That, Bua Mansa. Bua Mansa is also your, your government, your real name, eh? Yeah, it's, the, it's my name that I got from initiation school, Mansa. Like. Okay. When I say Bua, I say talk. <laughs> Bua Mansa. Okay, okay, okay. I feel you, I feel you. And why did you decide to change um, to Bua Mansa from Believer the Lyricist? <laughs> because I feel like Believer the Lyricist is too hard for people to spell it. Sometimes when I'm on events, like, even MCs can, can spell that name, the Lyricist. So, like, I think, like, it's something hard for people. So, Bua Mansa is easy. Uh, and... Also, I used to say Bua Mantra a lot in my lyrics, so people were starting to call me Bua Mantra. Then I got inspired. That's how I switched. Sure, that's powerful. That's powerful. So people actually gave you that name. I like that. I like that. Uh, here's a comment from the Facebook line saying, excited to hear more about your guest today. Um, okay, okay, we see you. Uh, shout out to, good afternoon to Miss Stacia Rochelle also. She's saying, Goeie middag sê, my favorite Mr. Vital. Thank you for being tuned in. I see you guys. That's tuned in. Shout out, shout out. Um, Bua Mansa, we want to speak about some, something is happening on the 20th of August. I heard a little, a little birdie told me, you are dropping your album on the 20th. Is this your debut album? Is this your first album? It's my first album, like the first album that I'm dropping on the 20th of August. Yeah. Homi Aku. Yeah. Um, yeah. Queen Below Mukwena saying, got you all the way, bro. <laughs> Thank you very much, Queen Mukwena. Yeah. I appreciate it. Hey. Uh, so I want to know, my king, what inspired your upcoming album and what can we expect from it? Uh, I need you guys to expect nothing but good music from your boy Buaman to deliver the legacy to ever like. Uh, I I worked so hard, like I took like two years to finish this album. Hence, sure. I'm saying you guys should expect nothing but heat after heat. So uh, I don't have a favorite in my album. So every track is fire. So hey, hey, and hey. I, I was talking to people in that album so they can relate. Yeah. I like the fact that you say you don't have a favorite in the album. Everything is fire. You know, nowadays people put out projects, then you have a least favorite song. How can you put out a whack song? It's, for me, it's like weird, man. You can't have a song that you don't like, but you put it out. It's weird. Nah, there is no way you can put a whack song on your album. And the first one, like, it's my first album, the first. 
Yeah. So he was like I I I worked so hard. Okay, okay. I feel, like, I feel like people are going to love it the most. Yeah, I have, I don't have a cow this side but I'm I'm ready to to be world to be like well known worldwide with this album. Yeah. 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 Uh, also, the video that you, that that you did, the the promo video, was really good, dude. I I didn't expect that. The quality also. You know, sometimes people send you stuff. It, it, um, I'm maybe telling you, I'm meeting. I see you are artist now. I'm meeting you up. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm an artist. Can you check out my song? Then I send it maybe to you. Then it's bad quality. And so for me, I expect it to be bad quality always. So if you're telling me, my brother, I have something here, then I expect it to be bad quality. Because if you play it to me and it's good quality, then I'm actually impressed. I'm like, oh, I didn't expect this guy to to go so hard, man. You know. And yeah, with all the music that 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 you have sent me so far, I was really impressed, dude, with the quality, the production, the um, the delivery, your delivery on it. Everything is is, is eating, my brother, is eating. So big ups to thank, you for that. Thank you very much. Like thank you very much. Like quality is the most important thing that artists should be aware of. Like sometimes you have to sound good before people hear you. So I believe in that. Thank you very much, Bob. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, King, how how would you say your music reflects your experiences growing up in the free state? Ah, uh, I, I I I become like one of the big, big, big artist in Free State with this, like with my, my old tracks, like Le Chedi Le Khan, there is the hit that I made four years back. Yeah. Uh, that hit, like, it came unexpected, like, I don't know what happened, like, it just blew, and the whole Free State is crazy about it. When I perform, they sing along, so I'm growing, like, almost like every day. When I see people sing my songs, I start to go to the studio again and write something. Yeah. I make bed with all my songs. So I thank all my producers that I worked with before. Sure. They inspired me to, to, to write the, this album. Yeah. That's powerful. So, That's powerful, dude. Um, Believer, what, what would you say? What genre is this album? What can we expect in this album, the genre wise? <laughs> Believe the lyricist or woman so is a musician, so you should expect Afro pop, hip hop, uh, boom bap, yeah, yeah, trap, <laughs> like hip hop, hey. everything is there besides piano, gong. That's yeah. dope. That's dope. Um, I also like the fact that you said you worked on this project for two years, because I I was about to ask you how long did it take you. To, to work on this project, you know, to, how long did you take to do the recording, how long did you take everything, but but it seems like you basically tested the music over the years and then you went back to the studio and made more music and it, it, it seems like that to me, you know. Yeah, but I'm capable, I can make a song every day just that I need heat, so I need to think harder, I need to focus, I need to see what's happening, I need to write something that is cage, yeah, it's like I took two years yeah. This album good. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited, you know. Uh these songs that that we opened up with, I believe those songs are also off of the album, no? Yeah. Into album, yeah. Coca and Holela High. Holela High is my second song on the album. Then Coca, I don't remember well, but it's on the album. Yeah. Um King, so do you also produce as yourself or do you just do vocals or what what, what do you do? As believe the lyricist, do you make beats, uh, produce, write? What, 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 what do you do? Yeah, I produce, but this album, I, I'm not alone. I worked with uh, Zaggy Beat from Welcome. Yeah. I also worked with NB Boy Mula. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I produce myself most of the time. And if I feel like uh, this is not good, then I take it to someone else. Produce yourself, yeah, as in, are you talking about the, the mixing of the vocals now? Yeah, I can do everything by myself. Sure, powerful, powerful. That is that is as, as one of the things that, that, that some artists can do nowadays, you know. Uh, we're in 2024, and uh, the industry is, is as fast, my bro. The industry is different. It's not like it used to be uh, where the artists only do the artist's work. The artists tend to mix, master, 
maybe make beats. The artists do a lot of things nowadays. You know? It's it's nice to see artists that that is versatile, man. Yeah, like I'm aware of that. Like, people, I like I'm not comfortable when I go to someone's studio. I can't be more comfortable. I sing just because of I'm an artist. Hence, I believe in having my own thing. Sing yeah. whenever I want to sing, produce whenever I want to produce. Hence, I'm a producer, songwriter. I also have a record label this side. Yeah. Life Enterprises. I push, we push. That's it. How many, how many artists is on your label now? Hey, 11 artists. Like, I'm having 11 artists. Sure, like, sure. Uh, can I mention the names? Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel free to mention the names, brother. Hey, it's Viral M, Amici, uh, C-Flow. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kim Mota, Kutani, mm-hmm. Tasky. I have like something like a crew again yeah. called Sutu Ambition. Okay. So you should also expect albums and singles from those artists. Dope. So, Dope. Yeah. Um, and those are uh, all of those 11 guys. Artists. Do you only have artists in your crew? Or is there perhaps any producers in there? Beat makers? Yeah. Hey, I have a producer goes by the name Nodia Beats. Uh, then I pro- I'm the second producer in the record label. Yeah. Then we have two producers. We need more. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, I want to shout out someone quickly. Shout out to Mr. Austin James. Hannah come all the way from my hometown for it now, you know. Saying, wow, it's Big Lee. Shout out to you for being tuned in. King, King, I see you. I see you. Okay, okay. And you started the label? Yeah, I started the label. How, how how long is this label now in working? Yeah, I think like it's four years right now. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's four years since I registered my record label. Yeah, four years, I'm 100% sure. Yeah. Um, King, you, you know, um, in the music industry, you know, there's, there's like precious sometimes because... Um, Maybe the industry wants a certain sound. A certain sound is selling, maybe. And now everyone is trying to recreate that sound. Everyone is trying to do that. Even as an artist, every artist is, is pushing for that sound. So you as Believer the Lyricist, how do you stay true to yourself? And like, how do you balance your artistic vision with commercial pressures? Because obviously there's maybe certain sounds that people want you to do or whatever. So how do you stay true to yourself, brother? Uh, like, hey, I'm aware of this industry, me, uh, and I'm aware of, I'm thinking for people, I should know, yeah. uh, what is their type exactly. So, I have this thing of mine, like, it's a style that I created by myself. Yeah. I call it by Badimu Flow, Ancestral Flow. Yeah. Uh, uh people, I think people love Bua Manjawen. He uses that special flows that he has. Yeah. Uh, hence, uh, hence I, I decided to give it a name because I don't know where that flow comes from. But I know how to do it almost like every day. When I, I need to do that flow, <laughs> I'm aware. And again, I saw people like emotional songs. People yeah. like piano. You should have like those lock drums on your songs. You should talk to people. The people should relate, you should uh you should observe, you should take care of like everything that is yeah. you are around, like you should maybe talk to people, ask for advices. Don't be jealous, don't be selfish, like yeah. be open with everyone, like work with many artists, you'll gain experience, they will tell you like how should you sing? Like they will advise you. Like yeah. real people won't lie to you either. I like that. I like that. I also like the fact that you said um, you must basically look around you, what's happening, and basically apply some of that to your music, like the lock drum you say, and certain elements in, in genres maybe that you can that you can bring to hip hop or whatever you are doing. I, I like that. I like. I like that. I like that. Um. King, what message do you hope to take away? What, what what message do you hope the listeners to take away when they listen to this album? What do you want them to feel? 
Uh, I want them to know uh, who is delivered the legacy to his Bua and what he's capable of. I like. I feel like I haven't like show people who is delivered the legacy. So like, yeah. I need to. I need. I need them to understand me. Like the life that I chose. Like everything about me. Then on that album, I'm talking about myself. But when you're listening to it, you're going to hear. It like as if you are delivered the legacy to a woman so i made sure like uh i take things that i saw that is happening yeah. around my city where i i stay so i need people to feel this like i i'm feeling it right now yeah yeah i'm trying to say yeah i like that so I'm, i was talking about myself a lot like the life that i live yeah how i suffer how i win everything so like I was telling people that they 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 shouldn't give up. Like they should keep on trying every day, time and again. Yeah, I was I was telling people about mm-hmm. life and reality. I like that. I like that. You know, um, if you make something that's real, then definitely people will definitely um, relate because it's real. Uh, if you go through it, then someone else is definitely go- also going through it. Uh, maybe not at the same time as you. But maybe they went through it before, or they still gonna go through it. So, so it, it, which make it more relatable. Um, King, any exciting collabs on this project? Or, pro- hey, or I producers? Beg I beg your pardon. Um, who are, who, who are some artists that we can expect to see on this project? Uh, I worked with uh, my master in music, like. The guy who taught me like how to sing, like uh, people know him as Rascal Hesh, the Rascal Mahali. Yeah. So that guy on the track called uh, the last verse. Mm-hmm. People should expect uh, NB Boy Mula, the producer that I'm working with. Mm-hmm. People should expect Geshlido, one of the biggest in the town. Sure. So, Powerful. People should expect DJ AP Kendela sound. So Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, I hear yeah. you, King. Uh, so before I see we have about eight minutes left, I want to I wanna do a little preference game. So it's basically this or that. I'm going to ask you, um, I'm going to give you two options, then you basically choose the one that you go with. Uh, okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh, so the first one for you, believe it or not, uh, as an artist, would you rather put out a single or a project? I beg you. As an artist, would you rather put out... Okay, for let, let's say for single versus EP. I'll, I'll, I'll rather put a project than a single. Okay. EP, I, it was a question. Okay. Because I believe like... Uh, I believe in stories, man. Yeah. So, Every time when I write, I'm trying to write a story that is going to continue part one, part two, part three. I, I believe in something like that. Sure. Powerful. I don't know if I answered you well. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. Um, it, would you rather be indoors or would you rather be outdoors? Uh, I'd rather be indoors, like doing music every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what that's so obvious. Most of the rappers say that. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, my brother, would you rather be? Um, would you rather have? Would you rather have comfort or would you rather have ambition? I rather have comfort. Like everyone needs to be comfortable the way he, he is or she is. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you on that. Making music versus performing music. Performing music. So you say stage. So you would rather be in the stage. Yeah, I need to perform for my people so that they can feel what I felt while the studio session. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Um, beach versus swimming pool. <laughs> A beach. Ah, because you guys must never see the beach that side. <laughs> <laughs> we have like a small beach. You you hear like on that song for the high. Yeah. It's not a beach as such, but 
it's a village to us here in Alan Ridge. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 so I, it's nice for me. I need to see the real one. I need to be the real one. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. House party versus going to a club. Uh, house parties because I don't like to be public. Like, I don't need to be around new people every day. I, I like chilling with my friends. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you on that one. I feel you. Um, loyalty versus respect. I want to get your opinion on this one. Uh, I think loyalty is the best. Why do, why do you go with loyalty? Because if you are not loyal, you are going to betray people. Once you betray them, they are going to betray you too. So yeah. there is no peace in the world. Yeah. Loyalty, yeah. It's better than respect. Dope, dope. I feel you on that one. I feel that. I think that's our last. Um, okay, last one. Radio versus podcast. Hey, radio. <laughs> ah, you don't have to say that because you're on radio now. You. you <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, King. Uh, Mr. Buamansa, where can we find you on social media? Uh, on TikTok, you can just search Buamansa. On Facebook, it's Buamanta. YouTube, it's Buamanta. All digital, all digital platform, my music, like, you just search Buamanta, you'll find me, especially after the 20th of August. Yes, sir. That album, yeah. Yes, sir. That's very easy. Uh, guys, you can find him at Buamanta on all social media platforms. If you don't know how to spell it, you can just check in the description here. It is there, so you can just search that on all pl- social media platforms. And then you will find the man, you know, the music or the content, whatever one you're looking for, you will definitely, definitely find it. My king, any, what will you tell a newcomer that also wants to do music, but he's starting in 2024? What advice would you give to him? Uh, to not focus more on creating deals, like on these tracks. It's a waste of time. Like you should just make music that makes money. Focus on getting booked. Yeah. Focus on doing good music for people to listen. So while you are busy singing vulgar and stuff, so people will like your music and you are going to give up. My advice is that they should focus more on themselves. I feel you. Powerful, yeah. powerful, powerful advice, King. Any special wait, pardon? Any special shout outs you wanna do? Any people you want to shout out? Yeah, but I would like to use my own language only if you allow me. Yeah, yeah, nah, do your thinking. Tradaule wawa sutu wu shiva mamiti in kalbito ki bua mancha kaiti yam polemal kupi in dadagiana niti bua mancha bua. Shout out to all my friends, shout out to all my supporters, my family, my girlfriend and my kid. I'm hey, good. Hey, powerful, powerful. Um, King, before we sign out, um, let us know when we can find this, the the project. Uh, where where must we 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 look out if we wanna be updated with the project? Where can we follow you? Um, when is it dropping and where is it dropping? Okay, the album is Homiako Uti. Um, I'm dropping it on the 20th of August. Uh, the album will be available in all digital platform, even if. You search me on Google, you will find. Just search Pua Manta. Yeah. Then it will lead you to where you want. Sure. Powerful. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, the, the project, the, the album, I'm not going to say project because it is an album, uh, that is dropping on the 20th. And if you guys want more information about it, you can just... Oh. <laughs> you can just uh, yeah. search the man straight there on, on, on Facebook or any platform at Pua Manta. And you will find all the information that you need. Wait, 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 wait. There's a comment here before we sign out, brother. By Moko Patricia Tsotete. <laughs> I don't know if I said it right there. Mancha hey. all the way. She's saying that. See your people. Hey. people is still Thank in, you brother. very much. <laughs> uh, King, we are going to sign out with a song called Tato Hatsi by the one and only Believer the Lyricist. Brad it was, was, was so uh, beautiful to have you on air. Um, hopefully we can do another telephonic one when you are, when you drop the, the project, you know. 
um, maybe if you are in Cape Town, whenever you are in Cape Town, bro, you 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 link me up, you link me up, and then we will do, we will definitely do the real interview. You're gonna come to the studio, and then we're gonna sit down, hour and a half, and and then get to know the man, you know. Um, before we sign out, but though. I wanna wanna just shout out some people as well. Shout out to Kylo Charles that like the live. Uh, neighborhood boy Mula. Shout out to you also. I see you tuned shout in. Shout out to my producer. Hey, <laughs> the man just tuned in. My guy, we're gonna sign out. Thank you for being tuned in. You know, um, to the leading internet radio station. Okay, he, he commented actually. The neighborhood boy Mula says, "Pua mancha renale wena." My king, we are signing out. Uh, it has been beautiful. We will be in touch. Cheers. Thank you very much. I also enjoyed. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play two more songs um, on the live. So if you maybe done with the phone call, you can still come on the live and maybe chat to people there. Whatever. There's gonna be so two more songs. Three actually. That's gonna be played now on the live. So you can still get back in the chat and, and just talk there if you want to. Okay, I'll I'll load live and. <laughs> be with you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Um, Moko Tsutsitsi is saying, you have, all my, you have my support all the way, believe the lyricists. Cheers, guys. Here we Cheers. Go. Ready, yes, rubber. 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 Uh, that's right, baby. The dangerak nog heel te die bij Radio Easter Review. Onze stasie, onze talent. En jullie wat ingeskakel is nog heel tijd. Onze mensen, baby. That was the one and only Boa Mancha on the phone, you know. And he's dropping a, a project on the 20th of August. Um, so stay tuned for that, guys. Keep your eyes and ears locked on to the leading internet radio station in the mother city. But, uh, we are signing out with some music, you know. I'm gonna play some music for you guys, but you guys can, 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 can mingle a bit in the chat, get to know each other. And whatever you wanna do, man. Shout out to you. I hope you have a liquor day today. Have a good one further. Cheers. Radio Istrovi. Titang Raki.
Wow, it's Big Lee. Ma hippie a hippie ta gitze pile Gitze pile le me la gala si soutou mo gifi tamba la gata la si fi Kagi pate la taga le batle beka pa ma sola le soutou Hey la wana mana wabouté I hate to do la ki repile Man jaka sa du la tekile Ste bile ma loire Bare music ki man sa ouhoudile A ki e kan pa ma chéri a pale sa Ma jita a skale sa Bo mama wa harifa Bo plein a mpale sa Rigidin <laughs> I got my sixes been on the grind. I'm illuminated, open my eyes. Chale que chilo, get la café. Gonja de talivo, a sola me lego. A quien aleman, sa voz ferri ni go. Tu la chevelle, le mulo a me lego. Que a la de to, a opo, peri que na pa ho. Fe la zaga di ba tu arisa jo. Chega de sin, we I'm flicking my waist. I'm taking the piece, you down on your knees. I'm in too deep, it's quite a certain. They live in a dream inside of a pin. They wonder how the hell they have in this dream. I got a key, I'm living free. I'm running the street. Power is free, call it for the cheap, let's squash the beef The rats are on the shake, it defeats Your life is a mess, I'm born in a scene, yo If I'm tired to a shrelle Go cut, if I'm go cut, if I'm hang it, shrelle Go cut, if I'm go cut, if I'm gonna zoom shrelle Yo, who's who's on a cut, 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 cut The moving your cut, the monk who need to ya Who's who's on a pop, 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 pop Pet your massage, you mean to come on Go cut, if I'm go cut you are listening to Radio Yesterday.